sun here. There we go. I know a telescope is not your normal camera gear that you'd bring out shooting, but it's been a while since I've owned one and they've come a long ways. I'm using the G Skyr AZ model that you can get right off their official website along with a wide variety of other telescopes and accessories. I'm doing all my adjustments and settings during the daytime so it's easier to see, but I'll definitely be bringing it out at night so I can check out the moon and the stars. This G Skyr AZ model comes with three different lenses with a wide focal view to a telephoto view if you really want to zero in on the subject you're viewing. I labeled the little cases here. We have 5mm, 10mm, and a 25mm lens. The AZ model also comes with a heavy duty tripod with a massive support head to hold the heavier telescopes. It's 36 inches long when it's not extended out, and when it's extended out and you have the telescope on it there, it's still not budging. This model comes with a finder scope which is mounted right here. This makes it easier for you to find the subject and lock into it first, so all you have to do is adjust the focus on the main telescope. The finder scope does have a focus adjustment right here, but the main thing you're looking for are the nice clear crosshairs and your subject in the middle. Last but not least, we have the phone adapter. This is a pretty important feature for telescopes nowadays. This helps you line up your phone's camera to position it in the middle of the telescope's lens and lock it into place. A lot of phones come with three cameras now, so you have to find out which one is the main camera and position the holder over that. It's a little difficult to test this out during the daytime, especially when it's so bright out. There's just too much light getting to the camera sensor and blowing out your image. If you have a pro version of your camera app, you probably want to use that so you can make adjustments to your ISO and shutter speed. It's going to take a little trial and error to get everything displaying just right, but it's worth it when you do. I'm going to show you how to install the phone adapter since I already have it put together on the telescope here. Uh, let me take this lens out, take it all apart here, the lens back, put this piece back on, pull my phone out. This is how you are going to get this piece. It's going to look just like that. We're going to remove this threaded piece here. We're going to put our phone into the holder, like so. Slide it up. This little adjustment here will let you slide this over the camera, get it into place, tighten it up and lock it in. So it's just like that. Then we're gonna get the lens and we're gonna take this piece with the threads facing the lens part and we're gonna screw it right onto this. Like so. Try not to move it away from your camera because it's already set in place. It should look just like that. Then we're just going to slide it into the telescope and tighten the little set screw. And that's it. Now that the telescope is all together, let's see how it works. This is where the phone camera is going to come in handy because I'll be able to show you exactly what I'm seeing through the telescope. Let's first use our finder scope and aim it at a mountaintop way in the distance here and see if we can lock on any subjects and get them into focus in this bright sunlight.
With the quality, ease of use, and quick assembly, I think this G Skyer telescope is going to make a fun addition to my outdoor photography tools. And it looks like G Skyer already has a 60% off holiday deal on their already decent prices on their website. So I included a link and a discount code in the description. It should make a great gift for the family, the kids, or even yourself.